Mobile's only one-stop cellular phone company. Welcome to WABB Night, and tonight it's going to be uh, more than a rock and roll show. It's going to be a blue show because we have Mobile's own Bluebirds with us, the Bluebirds band, and some local guys. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these guys, too, uh, some familiar faces. They play with other bands in town, and uh, I'm sure they have other jobs, too, during the day. Maybe not. Maybe this is what they do for a living. But let's introduce the guys uh, from my far left. This is John Brock. John, how are you tonight? John Wells. John Wells. <laughs> John Brock. You guys have too many Johns in this band, but anyway, how are you tonight? I'm doing fine. How about you? John Wells. How are you? John Brock. John Brock. <laughs> Can we just call these two guys John yeah. and John? <laughs> also, is, are you the official leader of the band, Jim Jenkins? No, we're just a slow spokesman. We're kind of a co-op. <laughs> and John Mathern. John, John Brock. <laughs> no, and you, know, <laughs> you may have seen this guy um, at MMI. Music I've been there a few times, yeah. yeah. It's a nice place to visit. Now, our show tonight is uh, brought to you by a, a, a place where I've never been and I want to go now that I know it exists. is Bluesland Oldies Record Shop. J Ball. Yeah, J Ball. It's in Daphne at 210A Old Highway 98. What does he sell there? Uh, just about everything in blues records that you can think of, all the way back to the 50s, 40s, everything. <laughs> How long have you guys been together? Uh, about off and off for about a year. We just, uh, just kind of work as much as possible, you know, mostly weekends. And you decided that uh, there was a need for this, obviously, a blues band. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's part of mobile culture, I believe. Definitely. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you have played with some other bands. You want to talk about some of the other bands that you've been with? Yeah. Uh, John's been with quite a few. John Wells over there. <laughs> John Wells, my far left. Thing. <laughs> well, uh, John and I used to have a band called the Bad Dogs. Uh, prior to that, we had a, a band with a uh, uh, Wick Larson and uh, Luther Womble, Triple uh, X. Familiar names, yes. And uh, well, uh, another band that I'm, I play with two different bands at this time. Another band okay. uh, called the Penetrators. You play with the, any other band now? Yeah, I've, uh, I'm going to play off and on with the Penetrators too. And uh, I've been in all kinds of bands. In the late 70s, I played in a real big country band, sidetrack band. We did a couple shows. Oh, sure. With an Alabama <laughs> sure. band and. Uh, but blues is definitely my favorite. Jim, what about your background? Yeah, about the same. Uh, off and on with the groups around town, <clears throat> a lot of road work mm -hmm. in and out of Mobile. And uh, like John and John myself, blues is my preference. And uh, uh, it's really the basic, you know, everything is blues. <laughs> and I, I know that uh, John Mathurin, when you find time, you've been in a few bands yourself. Yeah, well, I, I grew up in New Orleans and uh, growing up in you know what I consider the home of the blues and uh, I grew up playing uh, South Louisiana blue-eyed soul music and um, because of that it's influenced me I, I really enjoy my relationship with these guys because it's a, a lot of fun to do the blues I think Mobile needs the blues by the way uh, these guys are going to perform in just a little while I want you to stay tuned for that but we want to find out a little bit more about you and what age did you all start and tell us you know what you play what instrument you play Starting with me? Yes. Uh, I started playing guitar when I was about eight years old. I play bass in the band, though. I play, uh, wow. depending on what band I've been in, I've played bass or guitar. I've also been light man and sound man in a couple <laughs> of different bands. So I've, uh, Any bass players that uh, you grew up listening to that you, you liked? Uh, not bass players in particular. Mm -hmm. uh, my biggest influence was uh, Dwight Williams, who was in Locust Fort. Great. He's, he's, uh, I used to run the, the light show for them. And uh, he's my favorite bass player, kind of a local. Sure. Local Sean, player. what about you? Well, I play harmonica and vocals, and uh, I didn't start playing harmonica until I was about 18 years old. But <clears throat> I was always, always been. I was in a couple of bands singing, and I used to act like I was playing harmonica, and you know, like you do air guitar and mm -hmm. all that. And <laughs> a friend of mine said, "Well, you ought to buy you one," and I did, and I've been playing ever since. Who were some of your early influences? Uh, Charlie McCoy and Little Walter. Little Walter died at, I think, in '68. He lived to be about 34 years old. But he's uh, 
he was the first one to ever be recorded playing harmonica through an amplifier. And uh, he's just about everybody steals licks from him. Are we going to get a taste of that tonight? Yeah, I hope so. Oh, great. Jim? Uh, well, I think I started back around the James Brown era and Albert King, and uh, it was a little bit different back that many years ago. I can say <laughs> how many. But uh, uh, that's where I started. You know, most of my friends were playing Hank Williams' uh, senior songs. and. Uh, but I, I just enjoyed playing the blues because it was a little bit different and had more of a, an exotic feel being a drummer. And I started playing bass, but uh, I played drums for, I guess, for about 20 years. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. And I get most satisfaction out of playing blues because of that, you know, from the Muddy Waters and uh, people like that. Well, those are your those influences. Are my, that's okay. my influence, yeah. yeah. Muddy Waters is great. John? Yeah. Um, I started off playing piano. Both my sisters are rather accomplished pianists. And uh, I guess around the age of uh, seven or so, I, Elvis influenced me like I think <laughs> everyone else. And uh, I decided I wanted to wiggle my hips and play guitar. But uh, uh, I was influenced very much by um, Louisiana music. I started out actually playing Dixieland, and then it grew into uh, early rock and roll and soul music and that kind of thing. I was with uh, John Fred and the Playboys in the 60s and the 70s. And, uh, of course, traveled the country like we all did. Mm -hmm. and have been pursuing this crazy career most of my life. So. What is life really like on the road? Because you know, it's you think about you think about being on the road. You're away from home. You're living out of a suitcase in hotels on a bus. I mean, there's got to be some enjoyment out of it, or you wouldn't do it. Mm, the music. Uh, the music and, and part of the, the the fun of the road is the sacrifice. I think because you never have the same corner to kick your shoes in like you would at home. Uh, channel um, CBS and NBC are never on the same channel, so you're flipping through a hotel television looking for familiar things. What I remember most about the years that I traveled were you tried to find familiar places, restaurants that were in change. You'd sit in the same booth to have yeah. some kind of stability because uh -huh. you're out on the road and those kind of things. Yeah. Jim, yeah, just, life uh, on the road. Uh, just living out of a suitcase and a change of scenery, mm -hmm. and a drastic change. You know, it seems like. <laughs> In the winter time, we're playing in the north, and summertime, we're in Miami. <laughs> you know, so you get uh, from one extreme to another. You know, it's a, it's a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of different people and uh, see uh, other types of music that was played around the United States. And then, like every little area in the states, is just a different type of uh, feel or different type of culture, and uh, kind of pick those things up as you go along through the years and. Uh, Kind of put them all together, and still boils down to blues, you know. Sure. Well, it's sort of a, it's sort of like a routine, but not a routine. A routine in the respect that you're, you know, you're playing the same sets every night, but you mm -hmm. are traveling and seeing different cities. What about you guys? Life on the road. Well, it's just, a, you know, it's a, just a big difference completely because it's one thing to play at home, you know, and all your friends come out and see you play, oh. you know, and you get out on the road, you know, most of the time you don't know anybody. And then you, you know, you really find out how good you really are, you know. And, and if you can get those people to, you know, get close to you, then you're, you know, getting a, a step forward and, you know, the right direction, you know, what you want to achieve. But, uh, you know, it's pretty scary. Uh, you know, you've heard the term paying your dues, you know. Yes. A lot of people uh, in bands that I played in when we're traveling and things, uh, everyone has the attitude like it, we're paying our dues right now, you know. And they seem to, not enjoyed at the time, mm -hmm. you know, but when you look back on it, I, when I look back on the times when I was traveling, that's some of the best times I've ever had, but I was right in there complaining about it with them, yeah. you know. And <laughs> Any plans for recording? Uh, hopefully down the road. Uh, we're kind of looking at a few things. Uh, we've talked to Mr. Ball about some things, and uh, hopefully down the road we can uh, do something with it and uh, just keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Are you doing your own material or, or a mixture of both? Mixture. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, we got a, we've got a few original tunes we do. We're going to do one of them tonight. Okay. It's instrumental, you know. But uh, we 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 love a uh, lots of lots of tunes that we do. We like to do them, you know, our flavor to them. You know, just like you probably heard the expression, "The blues had a baby and they named it rock and roll." You know, that's <laughs> that's that's basically yeah. what it is. You know, and Linda Ronstadt, you know, she made a you know, made millions doing other people's material, you know, at a, her own flavor, you know, and really, really sold well. But uh, it's just hard, you know, it's, I love doing my own material, but there's just so many great songs yeah. out there that you just want to play so bad, you know, along with your stuff. Well, if you just tuned in, these are the Blues Birds, or the Blues Birds Band, is that the official title? That's fine. Uh, before you play, tell us where you play around town so we can catch you. 
some of the local some of the newer places down on dolphin street which i think is personally and an ideal place for blues and a good place for mobile ivanhoe's where lumberyard you know places like that then some up in montgomery at ten forty eight and cat and harry's which are the fun places yeah kind of gets us out of town a little bit and back into the suitcase but there were just uh, various places like that that we play. We're looking at uh, Pensacola and uh, a couple other places. Our Gulf Shores, Cadillac Jacks, and uh, which is a new place, and it's great. We had a lot of fun. Okay, when we return, you're going to hear the Blues Birds, and our show tonight is brought to you by Blues Land Oldies Record Shop in Daphne. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Patrice Cami, and I play Victoria Escalante opposite Duncan Regeer on Zorro, the Family Channel's exciting new series seen here on Comcast. Each week, Zorro offers daring, breathtaking adventures as the dashing swordsman returns to fight injustice in old Spanish California. And like Zorro, the Family Channel on Comcast is making its mark as cable's leader in original series. Thank you for watching. And remember, together, we are family. Hi, I'm Charlie McCarroll, owner of Phoenix Optical. The Mobile community has been good to me for the 40 years I've lived here. And in appreciation, I'm offering a two-for-one promotion to anyone who mentions this ad. When you buy one pair of glasses at our regular posted prices, you will receive a second pair of the same prescription free. We don't ask you to choose your free pair from a rack of cheap frames, as does our competition. You may have a second pair of equal value. Try us. You'll be glad you did. Newsland Oldies Record Show on Highway 98 in Daphne has the Gold Coast's largest selection of blues and rhythm and blues. With over 7,000 LPs in stock, you can choose from rock, country, folk, new age, and soundtracks. Looking for posters, t-shirts, and movie memorabilia? Newsland Oldies Record Shop has it all. Open Tuesdays through Saturdays from 1 to 7 p.m. Say who we are, and you get this with your paid subscription to this. Home Mechanics at a special low rate, $6.53 off the single copy price, and this handy tote free if you grab the bargain now. Call toll-free 1-800-521-3800. Ten issues are just $12.97. That's 33% off newsstand price. To save and claim your gift, call 1-800-521-3800. That's 1-800-521-3800.
Yes, until I get there, baby. All I can do is hope and pray.
Yes. Right. Yeah. We're going to let John do a little song he wrote here on the chromatic, chromatic, chromatic harmonica. <laughs> A ship out on a sea Baby, I'm drifting and drifting Like a ship out on a sea
blue version. thank the guys again, John Brock, John Wells, John Mathern, and Jim Jenkins. And they're going to be playing at places like Ivanhoe's and the Lumber Yard. And if you want to find out, just call these places. The Blues Birds Band. I want to thank our sponsor tonight, Bluesland Oldies Record Shop. And by the way, they are in Daphne. You can buy, sell, trade records, t-shirts, videos. They've been there forever. Talk to J.W. Ball. He's a great guy. Thanks for joining us tonight. I want to thank the band again, the Blues Birds Band. And we'll see you at 930 tonight for the perfect match. Thank you.